Welcome back to Alistair Davis Golf. Today's video is all about the deep, rough recovery shot if you happen to miss a fairway off the tee. And we've come to the absolutely beautiful Abu Dhabi Golf Course in Wales to highlight some thick, rough shots and link style golf, which hopefully you're seeing and witnessing on the open on TV at the moment in time. Today's video is really all inspired by the Open. So we're looking at on-course situations in particular today with this video. And I'm looking at a deep rough recovery shot. So normally on the Open courses and US Open courses and major courses, they have a lot of deep rough to punish you if you're offline off the tee. So I'm gonna talk you through today how we can recover when we do find ourselves in deep rough. So in this situation, I'm on a par five, I'm here in two. I've got about 120 yards or so to go to the green. It's pretty tough ask from this light to get the ball to the green. But I'm gonna talk you through the principles, how we stand to the golf ball and things we're looking to do to produce the best possible shot. Now the bonus feature today with obviously Lynx Golf is the fairways are quite running. So if I can get the ball short the green on the fairway, there's a chance it might trickle to the front edge of the green even if I can't get there with power anyway. So the lie, as you'll see from the close up is pretty poor. It's thick stuff, and I'm going to show you how we're going to adapt our setup to make sure we can get this ball out as best we can. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is ball position and club. So the club I've got is the most lofty club I've got, a pitching wedge. Obviously, I could use a sand wedge, but a pitching wedge, I want to try and create some distance, and it's a high lofty club. I'm going to move the ball further towards my trail side at address. So I'm going to move the ball pretty much to my right ankle, a long, long, long way back. What happens when we play off this, this thick rough? The, the hosel tangles and closes the face through impact, makes the ball come out low and left. So to compensate for that, I'm gonna rotate the club head at address to be open, to allow that to compensate so it returns still squared in, gets me the trajectory to get over this long grass also. In terms of the swinging mechanics, what I'm gonna to look to do is have a steeper backswing with more wrist cock. So what I'm gonna try and do is, if you imagine this shaft is full of water, I'm gonna try and get the water out of that shaft as early as I can. I'm gonna try and feel this backswing is very, very narrow. I'm gonna have a lot of what I call wrist cock or radial movement in my backswing to get that water out of the shaft very, very early. Then I'm gonna hit the ball as hard as I can and as down as I can. Now the fall through is not gonna be very long. Unless you've got really, really big arms, really strong, a lot of speed, you're not gonna have a very long fall through here. It's all about really trying to get as much impact into that ball, get the ball on the fairway, and hopefully run it out towards the green as best we can. So let's go through the shot. So I'm gonna aim at the left-hand side because there's more uh, fairway there. There's less carry over this rough, and I wanna make sure I get back to the fairway as best I can. I'm gonna set up as I would do normally, put the ball opposite my right ankle, then I'm gonna open the face. It's always good as well to make a practice swing alongside the ball, to feel the thickness of the grass, so you get an idea of how it's gonna react when you hit the ball. So what I'm gonna do now is take my address position and try and hit the ball very, very hard. So face open a lot at address, fall back in the stance as I said. This upright, steep backswing, and hit the ball very, very hard. Really, really thick stuff. And as you can see there from the ball flight, the ball got out to the fairway, didn't quite make the green. Again, the rough took a huge impact on the speed I produced into the shot. Again, with the wedge, normally I'd hit this about one, two, five yards. I've got about 110 yards here to go, and that ball's probably carried about 70 yards or so. So it's took a lot of the sting out of the shot. So if you find yourself in this deep rough, take your medicine, play out, make sure you've got enough you know, carry to get the ball back in play. Hopefully get it back on the green. If it's as thick as this, all the way back in the stance, take plenty of loft, open the face, steepen that backswing and hit it very, very hard. Hope you've enjoyed this video on the kind of recovery shot from the rough and the principles you need to change to get that ball back in fairway and hopefully onto the green, but the worst case back into the fairway and in position to minimize the kind of damage you'll do to your scorecard. If you have, please click like, really appreciate if you could do that. Also chat, tell me what videos you want to hear from me in the future and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can and answer any questions you have. Also please subscribe, I have regular videos every single week on a variety of subjects. So please join me on my journey on my channel, help it grow and hopefully we can make your scores better. Thanks for watching and good luck and see you soon.